Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you got a Hey YouTube! If y'all watched my last vlog, y'all would know that I was preparing to go out of town. And now today, in this vlog, I'm about to go to the airport. It's like 11.30 right now. If y'all watched the last one, y'all would see, well, y'all would have heard that I told y'all I was supposed to be waking up at 3 a.m. to go to the airport. I did wake up, but when I did, my mom was just like, they changed our flight time. So now, 11.30, you about to go to the airport now. I'm probably going to grab me some food. I have no idea what we're going to do today. At first, we were going to go to the Hoover Dam because we'd be getting there early, but now we're not going to be getting there until like the evening time so we don't know what we're going to do maybe just walk the strip and relax and then really in the festivities tomorrow i don't know this whole vlog is about to be so unpredictable because we're really just going to have fun so stay tuned like comment subscribe share all that good stuff and come have fun with me y'all live vicariously through me i hope that's the right word but whatever the word is y'all know what i'm trying to say do that let's go to the airport Hey guys, so I'm in the airport. I've gotten through security. Right now, I'm kind of debating with myself if I want to eat from Shaq's Chicken Place or if I want to get some Chinese food from this place called Bolin's. I don't know what's going to help me make my decision. I'm probably going to get chicken just because that's what I've been wanting and I've never had it before and I can get Bolin's at any time. So, I don't know. I'll update y'all. Hey y'all, so I decided to get the MDE chicken sandwich, which was a chicken sandwich. I added pepper jack cheese to it. It comes with shack sauce, whatever that is, and pickles. And then these are my fries. Look how good they look. These are my fries. Okay guys, so the chicken sandwich and the fries were super good. The shack sauce, it tastes like Chick-fil-A sauce, but like on steroids, like a billion times better. The chicken sandwich, I don't even know what to compare it to. I don't know what to compare it to. It's really on the lane of its own, but it was so good. Like, I would definitely eat this again. I just told my mom I wish it was a chain restaurant so I can just, like, get it whenever, but not when we're in the airport. But we're about to get in line now to board the plane. Um, I probably won't record on the plane, so we're flying to Phoenix right now, actually, and then we have to wait a little bit, let some people get on the plane, and then we're going to fly to Vegas. So I may or may not tune in when I'm in Phoenix. If I don't, I'll see y'all in Vegas. So we just got off the plane in Vegas finally. It's like three hours later from the last time that I recorded. I'm um, so happy to be here, kind of tired, kind of ready to get to the room. Probably change my outfit because walking through the little um, sky bridge thing, I could already feel how hot it was outside. So I definitely need to change about this jumpsuit. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. We're about to go get our luggage and then call a taxi, a lift, or somebody to take us to our hotel room. Hey guys, I'm finally in the hotel room. We were able to sit down for maybe about like 30, 40 minutes to just chill, let my devices charge. I edited a little bit of my video, my preparing with me to come to Vegas video. So go watch that now if y'all haven't. Um, I'm about to get changed. We're not really going to do anything today. We're just going to go grab some food, sightsee. So I'm just going to really throw on like one of my little basic outfits because we ain't about to do nothing. I don't plan on taking no pictures or nothing today. So it's kind of like chill. So I told y'all in my last vlog that this is like just one of my little comfy outfits. Not really trying to do nothing. Because I really don't even know. I just told y'all we don't even know where we're going. And we ain't taking no pictures or nothing. So I'm just about to put this on. And then I'll update y'all with whatever cool stuff that we see. Okay, y'all. We were just walking around. And we found a place called Maxi's. And then I noticed they had chicken and waffles. So I said I definitely wanted to try those out. But they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So right now my mom is looking over the menu to decide what she's going to get. But I know I'm definitely deciding on those chicken and waffles. They look so good in the pictures. So... The food was really good. They definitely did not disappoint. This is all I had left for my waffle. And then all that chicken, I barely just took like two bites out the chicken and I was so full. Like it was a lot of food. The portions was really great here. Now we about to just walk around, sightsee. And that's it for tonight, really.
YouTube. So today we're going to go to the Hoover Dam. And I'm so excited because I've never been there before. Never really like seen nothing like that in person. But the news just said it's going to be like 115 to 120. That's what it's going to feel like temperature wise. And that's horrifying. To me that sounds like cooking human temperatures. Like, once again, it should be illegal for humans to be outside when it feel like that. But we're going to go. Yeah, we're waiting on my auntie and my cousin to get here. They fly in tonight, and we're going to go to our Airbnb today. So since my mom and I got here first, we just stayed in the hotel, and then we're all going to meet at the Airbnb later. That's what stuff is really going to get fun. We're going to be kicking it. We've been waiting to see them. So stay tuned. I don't know what the day has to offer. Y'all, I am outside in the mountains. Being from Missouri, like this is so crazy to see because we don't have like nothing remotely close to this at all. Like, I'm really astonished. This is crazy. seen in my entire life it's so hot that I'm not we're literally just walking at a regular pace but I'm out of breath because it's so hard to breathe out here I think he said it's like 110 degrees but this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life if y'all have not been to the Hoover Dam come I know y'all like it's just the dam it's just holding back water no this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life We've made it back into the van and y'all can tell, y'all can tell how glistening my face is. It's hot, y'all. I literally can't even breathe. <laughs> Me neither. Y'all, for some reason, I did not expect this water to be this blue, but it is beautiful. Like, I low-key wanted to jump in there if it wasn't dangerous. I'm a swimmer. I accidentally touched this concrete right here. When I say I felt like it was going to give me fourth degree burns, that could have been bad if I would have touched it for like two more seconds. It's ridiculous how hot it is out here. I cannot stress that enough to y'all. I can't. Y'all look at that tunnel down there that goes through the mountain. I want to go in there. Y'all, so I thought the tour was completely over and we were just going to head back to the Vegas Strip. Why he stop us and say, okay, if you go over there behind the basketball court, it's just going to be sheep. Sheep? Like wild sheep? Y'all just have like wild sheep roaming around? We got deers. We got freaking deers and y'all got sheep. This is crazy. Oh, they are so take cute. Of me. I mean, take a picture of me. They really just mind their business. Hey, you guys. We are back inside at the hotel where we were originally picked up at. And 
it's beautiful here. I don't know how we didn't see this when we first came in here, but we just found this like majestic wonderland looking place and it's just so beautiful. But when we leave here, we're gonna walk back to our original hotel, go get our bags, and then head over to the Airbnb. shooting pool just playing around i've been practicing because i'm determined to be her before we leave but i think i'm about to take my hair down and then if i'm not too tired for that i think i want to get in the pool because it's looking real nice out there and by the time i take my hair down i think it'll be cool enough for me to go outside and get in the pool so let me get to that and then we'll see how i feel officially concert day and i'm so excited like so excited right now we about to go get breakfast my aunt and my cousin is here that i was telling y'all about so we about to go eat as a family and stuff and then hopefully get into some festivities before we have to come back here and get dressed for the concert i kind of just threw this on my threes i'm actually i'm going to wear these later for the concert i believe but i just threw something on because i didn't feel like getting dressed and doing my makeup and all that stuff just to have to take a shower and get dressed again for the concert later so just super simple fit about to go grab some food and i have no idea what else y'all know i already told y'all we just going with the flow so let's see what happens Okay guys, so we decided to come to Lolo Chicken and Waffles and there's literally people waiting out here so I don't even know if we're we going to be able to get in. The else. reason why we came here though is because Keith Lee did a video in here. We like, while we in Vegas, we have to go to a Keith Lee place. So I'm hoping that we actually able to get in here because y'all know brunch is my stuff. Like I really want to eat this, but I don't know. It's too hot outside for us to just be out here waiting. So I'll let y'all know if we end up going somewhere else. Hopefully we stay here though. Okay guys, so we came into this restaurant that was by Lolo's. I have no idea what this called because we literally just walked in. We're kind of sitting here just waiting on them to call us and like tell us when our wait time is over so we can go in there and eat. We're probably just going to get like little appetizers from here and drinks and stuff so that way we won't get too full and then we can still go over to Lolo's when they call us. the passion fruit mojito mocktail emphasis on the mocktail <laughs> but my mama just updated me and said that we are 57th in line for lolo it's like 57th is crazy that's insane 57 
so I just got back in the Airbnb from Lolo's and it was an experience to say the least so I told y'all we was waiting and we had to wait an hour and a half when we first got there and put our name on the list we were 57 then I would say like two hours 15 minutes passed and we were number 11 and then time kind of went by fast after that we was able to get in there walking in the door immediately it was kind of a red flag because it was just so many people crowded at the front i couldn't get in i'm getting irritated like excuse me excuse me and then so i'm having to maneuver my way through we finally get a table it's four of us it's only three tables i mean three chairs at the table so the man he have to go get another chair pull it up for us like okay we the dj booth is right here we're sitting right here and when i say that music was loud it was loud i couldn't even record in there and talk to y'all nothing because it would have been copyrighted so it was just annoying that like we literally couldn't even have a conversation at our table we couldn't talk about nothing anything like that so um it kind of balanced out though because the music did start to get better like the song they was playing is just like y'all playing this loud music this song ain't even good what are y'all doing that for but they did start playing better music the dj got on his stuff so that was cool people started dancing and all that so it made the experience and the vibe in there a little bit better and then onto the food i ordered the gizzards well okay so first of all that platter that y'all just seen or that y'all will see i don't know where i'm gonna put it at what order but it was supposed to come with three different things i asked for they call it pre-rolls but it's like egg rolls and it was like chicken and something like that it was, i was ordered those the catfish and the gizzards they told me that they didn't have no more pre-rolls so i was just like okay let me get double catfish so i got two things of the catfish and gizzards on that one platter as like an appetizer for us to share at the table um the catfish was really 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 good i did think that the gizzards could use some more seasoning but they were good as well they weren't like super chewy as if y'all eat gizzards y'all know that they have the potential to be really really chewy they weren't they were okay they could have just been seasoned better but the catfish was great like the way it was fried i couldn't complain at all and then y'all seen that i ordered that waffle sandwich i asked for turkey sausage but they didn't have no turkey sausage to be expected a lot of people don't be able to accommodate my needs but they did have turkey bacon so i set up for the turkey bacon um when i first got my sandwich i had pitched off like a piece of the egg and i bit it ate it and there was literally no seasoning on the eggs at all like y'all don't salt and pepper y'all eggs or something but then i bit the whole sandwich and the waffle compensated for that because it, they seasoned the waffle with like cinnamon sugar all type of stuff like the waffle itself didn't just taste like a bland waffle so that was really good um overall my food was great i think my family liked their food too nobody like really had any complaints besides like my cousin she had the wing well they weren't even all wings i think it was like she had like a leg and a bread some stuff but she ordered her chicken to be all wings and they brought her those other pieces and then ordering all wings is an upcharge so she just has to let them know like y'all can't charge me for that because y'all didn't actually bring me what i wanted my aunt had ordered some like i believe potatoes and grits and they didn't bring them to her they had to bring it after the fact after she asked for it but overall i'll probably rate it like a six and a half it's not that the food wasn't good or anything it's just like it's something that i wouldn't have to try again like it was cool for the experience i'm not like mad that i went or anything but it definitely wasn't worth the two and a half hour wait it definitely wasn't worth the price that we had to pay for the food it wasn't i could have made everything that we had at home like it was okay though but so we're back at the airbnb now i believe we're all about to just go outside get in the pool spend some family time together and then we're going to come inside shower and get ready for the concert we're about to go see usher y'all i can't believe it okay you guys i am completely dressed i'm completely dressed for the concert we were actually supposed to be gone probably like 30 minutes ago yeah it's 707 now the concert doesn't start till 9 but we wanted to get there early just because we don't know what the crowd is going to be like we don't know we don't even know exactly where the concert is so like we just wanted to get there early but so we're still not late or anything but we wanted to get there at 7 so we should be leaving soon i'm just waiting on everybody to finish getting dressed i just wanted to get on here show y'all the fit because i'm not sure what the following clips are gonna have to offer it's probably gonna be me screaming usher dancing all the above i don't know what's coming up so i just wanted this to be like my last formal video clip 
before the night takes place. Our first taxi driver that we had when we initially got here, he told us that Usher is a great concert. The theater only sits 3,000 people. And for like a big concert like Usher, especially in Vegas, 3,000 people is not a lot at all. Like that's low key an intimate concert. So it's gonna be like super cool. I just, I don't know, I'm excited for the show. I just know that he is about to perform. Like, y'all know it's some singers who will get on stage, they'll sing, and they're like, the music is a vibe, but you didn't perform. I just know that this is about to be a performance, y'all. I cannot wait. This is a little disclaimer. I apologize so far in advance for all the screaming or wrong oriented pictures if I was recording in landscape and it should have been portrait or vice versa, any of the above. I was just kicking it, y'all. I apologize. For real. Y'all, we literally just walked back in the house from the concert. And when I tell y'all, Usher don't owe me nothing. Usher don't owe me nothing. I felt like when he sang Climax, nobody else was in the room. There was nobody else. We was just singing together. We was just singing together. That's literally how it felt. Y'all, if y'all have not been to Vegas for his residency, highly recommend i think this is one of the best performances i've ever seen and that says a lot because i've seen chris brown i've seen drake i've seen migos i've seen future cardi b 21 savage kodak black i've seen so many people 
Nobody is topping Usher. Like, y'all have to come. Good morning, YouTube. So today we are going to ride ATVs through the desert, my family and I. Originally, we were supposed to go at 6 a.m. Right now it's 10.30 and our time to leave to go to the place is 11.30. We were supposed to go at 6 a.m. Keep in mind, we didn't get back in the house until 2, 3, mama? So like we got back in the house at two we didn't go to sleep till three and then we were going to be we woke up at 5 30 to we expected to be leaving then to go to the place but then they texted us and was like hey we don't have enough spots for y'all to come can y'all come at 11 30. we wanted to go so early because we're in vegas and it's so 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 hot but it really saved us because we were tired y'all like two hours of sleep was not it especially after a concert like that like we was kicking it so we were like yeah we can come at 11 30 so that's what we're about to do now um so my cousin actually lives here in vegas and he said that it's typically like super sandy and stuff like that so i'm not sure what the footage is going to be like when i'm there i'm going to try to get really good footage and pictures and all that for y'all but i'm so excited this is my third time in vegas and every time i've been here i wanted to do the atvs and this is my first time actually being able to do it so stay tuned and come along with me to ride the atvs hey guys so we just pulled up to this souvenir shop which is the pickup place for our atv ride so we're going to leave from here and go there this is i don't know what i expected the pickup place to be but i didn't expect it to just be like this little souvenir shop you guys so right now it's about 110 degrees the high today is 118 degrees they just told us that we came in the hottest part of the year which we already knew but this is one of the hottest days that they've ever had on record so pray for me please even though just pray for me y'all um they did say that there's like a point where we can stop and turn around if we want to and quit but i'm gonna try to get through the whole thing it's just so hot we out here y'all and i am horrified we was on the the ride here and our tour guide was just telling us about the different mountain lions and cougars and rattlesnakes and lizards that if they bite us our limb will, um have to be taken off and i'm like y'all should have said that in the email because i might have not have been here oh the sand blowing in my eye i gotta go Y'all, when I say I am so beat, I have never felt this tired. I've never felt this dirty in my entire 19 years of life. I couldn't, there was, it's literally impossible for me to have been able to get footage for y'all while I was actually out there riding. I didn't like think about that. Like I got to stare, all that type of stuff. When we stopped, there was a break moment where we were able to stop and he was like, okay, take pictures, drink water, do what you do. I couldn't, I needed to go. Y'all, it's 118 degrees today. I've never been that hot. So he was saying that we would be able to go and then come back to where we started from basically as a halfway point. So at that point, if we wanted to get off and go back to the van, we could. My cousin got off. I should have went with her. I didn't. I kept riding and we ended up riding for like a, maybe another 10 minutes and then we came back around to the where we started at again. I got off. Me, my mom, and my auntie, we was gone. Other people started riding. So when we got off, we went into like this trailer thing that they had because that was literally the only shade out there. Everybody's in a trailer laying out. Laying out. I'm sitting in a chair with my cooling rag on my face. I'm pouring water on myself, pouring water on my rag. And this, I don't, it was so hot y'all like it was crazy and so the people who kept going around they finished their stuff they was going for maybe like another 20 30 minutes then we all come back we all get in the van we tired um it's this lady not sitting in the very row in front of me but the row in front of that i see her shaking and my auntie is sitting next to her she's shaking and then she starts throwing up but it was just like her head was on the window so i'm thinking like she's just bouncing and shaking because like the car is vibrating like everybody kind of bouncing it's a big van 
and like it wasn't like real bad noticeable shakes then we pull up to our drop off point where we was already and she gets out and her body just like locks up and then starts seizing and then so our tour guide thank the lord our tour guide was a paramedic and her friend that she was with she just got out the military so like they were kind of trained and well they are trained and they know how to deal with that type of stuff so they were able to bring her into the store sit her down cool her off get her to stop seizing i'm like do y'all have a fan do y'all have a fan this man gives me a fan i'm starting to fan her her friends gets another one starts to fan her we just pouring water on her we got the cooling rags around her neck like it was crazy and then so she starts to say i can't feel my legs i can't feel my legs and so like that scared us somebody's on the phone with 911 mama i'm recording somebody's on the phone with 911 and um tells them to come where we are da da da, da. Uh, ambulance comes and then goes to the hotel that's across the street and so we trying to flag it down but everybody like it's probably a different call probably a different call so then our paramedic finally comes and starts taking care of her and stuff and then the paramedic that was across the street actually did end up coming across it was like somebody told us to go to mandalay bay so that whole time they was just across the street for 20 minutes when she could have been getting help in total i think she had like four seizures that I counted and it was so crazy like it was sad I'm standing here banning her like trying not to cry and stuff because it was just so sad she said that she couldn't feel her legs then she started to gain the feeling back um she was able to say her name and who the president was but when she was asked a year it was kind of like I don't know she couldn't like really respond but it was sad y'all she was only 42 the paramedic did come back in and update us that they put an IV in her and she was doing good basically if y'all gonna do the ATV tours well yeah the ATV tours in Vegas do not go in the summer months especially not July or August do not do that at all and they said well of course we was trying to go on an earlier one like 6 a.m this morning they said even at 6 a.m it was 100 degrees out here that could be so dangerous y'all like you got to take it serious People come to Vegas and they just be trying to have fun. They be out here just drinking, not drinking enough water. You have to put your health first before your fun. And all the time, you cannot just ignore that type of stuff. Especially because I feel like we knew when we had to stop early. Like, I wasn't even dizzy. I wasn't lightheaded or nothing. I was okay. I was just super hot. And I was listening to my body. And I'm like, yeah, it's time to stop. If she was at the point where she was seizing, as soon, well, they said when she got off her ATV, she couldn't even walk or stand up. Like, my auntie had to help put her in the van. You know, like, you literally have to just stop. And don't try to get your money's worth. Don't try to say, oh, I don't want to be the person that has to ruin it for my friend. It don't matter. Your health comes first. Like, you don't know what type of long-term health issues you can have from what you're doing out here. And thank the Lord she was able to make it back to the store, like from the desert to the store. Because if she would have started having the real seizure episodes while we were still out there, it would have been horrible. The ambulances would have taken forever to get to her. She wouldn't have been able to cool off. That's what really helped her help being able to come into the air conditioner to cool off. She wouldn't have been able to cool off for anything. So it's just really important to listen to yourself. And don't even come in the summer months because I could not do that again. I would do the ATVs again, but it would have to be like in the fall, the winter season because that was crazy. Overall, I would say I did have fun, but it was just like super scary being out there. I've never been that hot before. Like I've, I'm from Missouri. When it's like 102 degrees outside, if it gets that, we're not coming outside. So 118, like it's ridiculous. I just ordered this good old acai bowl. So this is the acai stuff, and I think it was like, it has said like peanut butter froyo or something, which I'm assuming is this side. And then I have peanut butter drizzled on top. There's chocolate chips, bananas, and granola. And then I ordered honey. And this is Butterfinger. Um, yeah, I added a little unhealthy touch to it, the Butterfinger. And then my cousin, she just ordered us some mexican food and i ordered a shrimp burrito which sounds so good i've never had a shrimp burrito before so when she brings it in here i'm gonna show y'all that and hopefully get some of my energy back because i'm so tired but i think this acai bowl is really gonna hit the spot